What's going on everyone, I'm Devin with True Devin Gaming. Today we'll do another Blue Inside Fence 6 video. Today, we are doing the current boss event. The Vortex boss event. From the sky comes the deadly master of air, the Vortex. Uh, for this one, we are doing it on the map Middle of the Road. Well, that's the current boss event. And it's medium difficulty. Uh, it gives us 200 lives and 650 money at the beginning. We're going to be doing this co-op. Uh, yeah. As far as the rules, we allowed legitimately every tower and every hero. Uh, just has some custom bounds. And again, this is on the newest map. We're going to be doing it on elite difficulty this time. Yeah. So, actually, I'm going to be joining this way. Since I'm not player one this time. Let me type in the code. For those that have not uh, seen a boss event with us before, or haven't been in a boss event with us before, we do use instant monkeys. For us, the instant monkeys that we use are decided by, or well, for elite, we do it with two instant monkeys per player. Uh, one decided by a random tower spinner, and another decided by our free choice. Of course, we can choose to not use any of them, or we can switch out either of them for a uh, cast truck. Here is the random talisman that we'll be using. I'll be spinning for player 4 first. So player 4. AKA Rainbow. Your instant monkey that you can use is an engineer monkey. Of course you can switch that out for cash shop. And you also allowed another instant monkey besides that free of your choice which everyone you use. Or you can use two cash shops if you want. AKA okay, Rainbow says they're using a cash shop. Uh, now for Elite. Elite landed on a super monkey, so they can use a super monkey and a instant monkey of their choice, or they can switch either of them or both of them up for cash drops or go with nothing at all. All their choice. Uh, next one I'll go with Sarah, because I always want to leave myself for last on this. Uh, I'm going to spin for Sarah again because that one is impossible for them. Sarah is going to be in the top left corner, so they cannot use a water one. Uh, a ninja monkey. So Sarah landed on a ninja monkey as an instant monkey. So they can use that. One of their free choice. Or switch them both. Or one of them or none of them uh, for cash shops. Or they can use nothing, of course. And lastly, let's see what mine ends up being. Again, cannot do the monkey sub because my spot is uh, does not have water either. Okay, a sniper monkey, I'm fine with that. Okay. <coughs> so mine is sniper monkey and whatever I want to pick. So is asking what yours was? Yours was a ninja. And lead says super and your choice. Okay. See, Elite's using both instant monkeys. Rainbow says they're using two cast drops. Okay. Uh, actually, let me... Two week hours trip. Uh, Sarah, can you get this started? Am I only going to do elite once? I have no idea. Okay, everyone make sure you have auto start off. Seems like my section is in the bottom left. Remember, cash shops cannot be used until the round starts, so get your instant monkeys out first. Uh, mine was a sniper. I think middle pass is good enough. There we go. That's my one that was decided by the spinner, and now to pick one that I actually want to use, which will be, of course, a uh, farm. 
Now which form to go with? I'm going to be using a tier 4. Let's go with this one. Go with this one just because it's going to be sacrifice uh, at the end. It's, well, not even at the end, it's going to be sacrificed to a Monkeyopolis. Can you upgrade the Ince Monkeys? Yes, you can. Okay. Thank you, we're going to get this started. Again, make sure you have auto start off. So that people with cash drops can actually get them. Okay, someone does not have auto start off. Please make sure it's off. I know it's probably uh, because Rainbow was glitching out, so they couldn't turn those off. Okay, someone please turn off auto start. Whoever has it on, please turn it off. It keeps on going wave after wave. Okay, there we go. Can click this down to ah, order. There you are. Let me check my stock. Yeah, can see action figure. Oh, thank you. But I feel like you should actually focus on your farms. Get myself banana farmer to pick up these subs. Order up. Okay, please slow down a bit. I don't feel like I can actually place everywhere. Okay. Hey, can I fit another farm over here? This might end up being a very, very, very small monkey outputs for me. Nope, I can't fit it anywhere. So it's really just going to be three. Yep, this is going to be a very small one. Who is requesting money? 
Everyone needs to fulfill money. I should probably get next one to Banana Plantation. Oh, thank you. Oh, get to Banana Plantation then. Next goal is to get a Banana Research Facility. Open. There you go, got a second one. Take that, immediately deposit all. Still trying to figure out how to actually use IMF loan the best way possible. Fabuloso. About to reach round 20, so halfway to the first tier. Okay, now. Let the beat drop. Now I can actually get banana research facility. Alright, now I just put everything into the but just deposit everything until it's enough to take out and get rid of the load. But to get rid of the debt. I think that's how we do it. Back and forth, back and forth like that. I think this is the right way to do it. Once it reaches 12,250, 12, then I remove it. And let me collect. Oh, it auto collect. Okay. Ah, that doesn't hit it. Damn it. I wanted to actually reach this one. So I need to increase the range of this village. I have something new. Can we clear this? Of course it's not debris. Great. It means I'll need an engineer to increase the range. You have no idea how I'm a film, so I just found you. Uh, it works in a way. How that way is? Good question. Okay, second banana research facility. Rita, you're going to use another super insta 
the same and confess just to fit another part. Oh, don't worry about uh, leveling up Geraldo himself for a long ass time. Geraldo isn't needed to be leveled up for a long time. Okay, actually, before we continue, anyone has any, any ideas what paragons we want to go for? I know the obvious one is that we're going to go with an ace, and the other obvious one will be the uh, dart. But what else? Seth says dart, Elite says engineer, Rainbow says maybe ninja. Buccaneer isn't very doable unless you all want to use pools. I'm fine with using pools for it. Hell, I'll be even up to putting two pools down to make it possible for other people to place down theirs. For that one. After all, I'm thinking of Buccaneer would be one that can attack from a very... or from infinite range, so we don't have to worry about... What are you call? The Vortex stunning it. The Ace is an obvious one. Ace needs to be in one of the corners, so it can't be stunned. Okay, but I will agree with Elite on the Engineer one. Just wanted to confirm on that one particular. Actually reaches everything. At fifteen thousand now. Oh, thank you. That's this. There we go. Got a monkey office now. I can place the different farms within its radius and actually use them well. Okay, I think time for me to start saving up money, so we can actually work on the first boss. Uh, Elite, do you mind getting down a sniper up there? Can't. Can't put an engine in Oh, a snipe up there. That's... that's odd.
Okay, you got one. Good. Thank you. I'll get ready to have one up as well. Just to help with the popping power. Everyone else should focus on the farming still. Like, yep, that's working well. Add a second lead defender now. Huh. I think if the lead defender looks like it should be within range to get paralyzed, but it is not. Good for popping power. Like I say, it says you should be able to put one in the center. Got one there. Oh, actually, no, that's what they're talking about. If you finish the tier one. Are you talking again? Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, that's what you're talking about. I thought about mine for a second and I was like, oh, nope, that one. Okay, I have my monkey opus and I have three tier fours. Or so that's good for me. The next boss will be appearing soon. I don't like that. I think the next one we're going for would be the Mad, of course. Yeah. Tier 1 we go for Sniper. Tier 2 we go for the Mad. And then Tier 3 we go for a paragon at that point. Oh, uh, says says Bay of Doom is good. Actually, yeah, I forgot about that. Careful with these. Bay of Doom, while the is actually able to deal more damage to the what do you want to call it? To the vortex than usual. Okay, another one of these. Yeah, we definitely need to go ahead and farm that up right now. Let's see, Lita, someone get a 032 wizard. We don't die to mobs. Good point.
Uh, let's try to save up 60,000 for Monkey Wall Street. I only need to save 50,000. This will do the rest. There we go. I'm looking Wall Street finally. Okay, we have five rounds to deal with the next, what you say, of the next boss. Fun stuff. Yep. I'll start saving up for the mad. Hopefully, I'll be able to save enough to be able to send all the money over to a lead at that point. Should cost about 70,000 total, if I remember correctly. Get it. Turn it up! Careful with these! Well, you can sell all your fun. There's no need for that. If I can have all of if I save up all of it for one go, then you keep your farms up and get to continue farming while having a mad out. Yeah, I have enough. I will definitely have enough though. So elite. Just make sure to put all your money towards your farm at the end of this round. Okay, put all your money towards the end of your, to your farm thing. I was going to say I was just going to send you all the money for it in one go. There you go. That should be good. Okay, that should be good, so I guess let's just get this one started now. There you go, there goes the tier one. Not the tier one, the first skull. Farm on the spot blocks the placement of the tower. Oh. Alright, let's get myself an inner central. Ah. There you go, Banana Central. That'll help. Some doubloons are getting far, but I think we have enough popping power for it still. So. Okay. Okay, let's sell the rare fancy action ticket and use it to get Mokinomics.
There we go. Now I'm gonna be receiving the money from monkey nuts every time it automatically goes. Okay, there we go, we beat the tier 2. Uh, we do not start the next wave until Elite has all the farms. Yep, that's how I get all the money. I have to start promo boosting my farms. Party monkeys! TX, what's the plan for tier 3? Elite says Dark Paragon. Yeah, of all the Paragons we decide we'll go with, that one's definitely the cheapest and more helpful. Wait, who wants which Paragons? I'll say Dark Paragon should be probably either Sarah or me, place here, or place right here, one of those two spots. I'm assuming this is Elite Skull for the Engineer. Who has Paragon placement? Either Sarah or me has that. Rainbow, you have the least, uh, you have the worst placement for Dark, you have but I would say you have the best placement for either Buccaneer or Ace. You're going for one of those two. I think we'll go with the Dart and the Ninja next to each other. And then the Engineer and Ace next to each other. Lee says Ace is best for Rainbow. Yeah. So Rainbow is going to be ending up with the most powerful of the powers. Hello big boy, why can't you just give a monkey an AK-47 put in and fix the problem? Uh, we've tried that, didn't work. Okay, I'm just gonna get down darts. Uh, Sarah, would you want, I'm assuming it'd be the so, would you want the dart or the ninja? Oh. You know which one you want so we know which one gets placed here. Actually, all things considering, here's probably a good spot for the dart, but it also will be paralyzed. Might be a better spot. Nah, nah, that will do ninja there. I think, Sarah, you go for a dart here. I think you go for the first paragon. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
Honestly, we have a lot of money saved up. At this point. I think everyone should get the dots down. Uh, where's a good placement? Well, these are bad placements. Just trying to get them down. There we go. Okay, I got all four of my dots down. Uh, let's see. I think Sarah needs more. There we go. Send some money over to Sarah so I can get probably a second one. Out there. One, two. Okay, they're going for those four. as they have two down. Yep. Well, here's some more money. Help you get down another. Two, three. Okay, so there's all four bears down. Next seeing rainbow. There's one, two, three. Rainbow still needs a force down, and Elite has their four ready for that down. I guess sending money over to Rainbow. Is your Ultra Juggernaut the best bot for the Paragon? Most likely. Most likely. Okay, Rainbow has all four there, so now it's just time to send money over to Elite. Once Elite has all four there, so then we're just saving up. All of us will just be saving up for 350,000. We have one, two, Save three, one more, forty-five thousand. Okay, everyone has all four pair or tier five dark monkeys. So now we just have to save up money. Don't forget to use fertilizer. Ah, there you Thank are. you. Yes. Uh. I'll say this, uh, Sarah, as soon as you actually have enough for the Paragon, just get it. No reason to wait around. There we go. <laughs> and now that we have that down, the next one we'd be going for, would that be the Engineer or the Ninja? Elite says Engineer. Okay. In that case, uh... I think the most important one is actually to send money again to Sarah so that they can get the XXXL trap at the front. Just so that we have more popping power for the engineer to get it early. You already got your overclocks down? Yep.
and she is next. I'll just get my... Let's get the two down. Let's get one here. One, fit. Fit. There we go. Can this engineer please fit? There we go. That was irritating. Okay, I have my three tier five engineers down. Sarah has one, Elite has one, and then a bunch of the others. And Rainbow is getting their three down right now. Actually, one. Rainbow, we got their three. So Rainbow's good with that. So do we need both for tier 3? No we do not. The dot is good enough for tier 3 by itself. Uh, we're getting the second one, but we're going to be trying to get 3 paragons for tier uh, 4 properly. If not, then we'll go for 2 for tier 4. We'll see. Okay, that's irritating. It's its paralyzation range actually still reaches the dart. That's it. Elise says every twenty degrees the power drops. Yep. Nice thing, uh, even though the dark paragon keeps on getting paralyzed, it is holding it back far enough. Hey, now it's actually pushing it back far enough, it didn't even get paralyzed. Uh, the dark, the ninja, the engineer, all of them are going to end up paralyzed quite a bit during this game. Okay, so we're going for all the engineers. I have all three of mine. So it has to suddenly get ultra boost. There you go. Okay, so it has all three. Lead has all three. Okay, everyone has all three, so now we're just saving up for the Engineer Paragon, which is 650,000. I wonder how long that's actually going to take us. Yes, my friend. Uh Who is getting the Paragon? The Engineer will be on Elite. Uh, elite and uh, Elite Ethiopia will be the Paragon. Then after that, it will be uh, my Ninja Diffuse for the uh, Ninja Paragon, and then we'll be going with a plane for yours. Which, by the way, we need to find a place for you to place a plane that will not get paralyzed at. Why is 
as well get all tier 5 ninjas right now. Eh. I got two of mine. Let me get to third then. There you go. I have, I have all three of mine now. This is can I have money for a 5204? Sure. Uh, yeah, that's a lot more than the needed. Okay, so again, 650,000, how much you're saving up for elite? I just turned on auto stuff because we're not really doing anything in between waves right now. <sighs> Rainbow is leveled up to level 153. Congrats. Okay, I believe you have enough. Good. Turning off auto start. Now that we have the engineer paragon, everyone get down your ninjas. I'm going to get an engineer back down again. Just so I can boost some. Okay, so I have all three. Gonna need to send some money over to Sarah for that. There you go. Sarah's all three. To Elite has all three, Rainbow has all three. Okay, we all have our ninja tier 5, so now we have to save up 600,000. We actually might end up with this one before round 100 as well. It's honestly going very good for us. I have something Got a plane to start the pops. Thank you. I'm trying to see where that plane is from. Oh, there it is. Okay. Remember, the plane that you will be upgrading could be placed all the way in the bottom right corner, away from any ability. So anything that can be paralyzed. That's where you get the one that will be upgraded in the end. And so it says, Devin, aren't you proud? You're farming decent. Too. You're farming very good, actually. Not even just decent. And yep, three was straight about that. To be honest, I have no worry in the slightest about the tier 4. The tier 5 I do have a slight worry with. 
uh, just because it's going to end up paralyzing the Dart and Ninja at the same time on the first tier. The second tier is probably going to paralyze all three of these. The Engineer, Dart and Ninja. Then the, the, not the, not the tiers, the skulls. It's going to actually progress quite far. Most likely. Get this now. 73. So we have a 73, a 73, and a 75. So far, so good. Now all that's left. Was the entire game. You say said too strong. And now we really need it. Anything that gets... Everything will be dealt with with this. This guy shoots too wide of a range of attacks that it'll just hit everything at once. It'll target the first thing and hit everything behind it. Okay, we have two... Aces now. We'll stop at 2 until pretty much round 119 so that hopefully we don't end up lagging out or getting kicked. Okay, and here we have the tier 4. Okay, tier 4 surviving longer than I was expected. That's fine. <sighs> okay, it took the ninja way too long to start attacking again. Hey, he didn't get paralyzed, so it's actually able to continue attacking throughout this one. You know, I'm very much looking forward to the next time a boss, not a boss, a paragon comes out uh, that actually has infinite range. Just so that we can have another paragon beast. As far as... Wait, we have three of them pretty much right now. The Ace and the Buccaneer are able to attack from anywhere. The next time we get another one that can attack from anywhere, pretty much the Vortex is dead from that point on. We'll, be, we'll never have to deal with it difficult at any point. Because we'll have three Paragons uh, that cannot be paralyzed. And I guess Engineer is close to that. It's very deterrent, it's gonna be very far away. And Ace is very close to that because it has a very long range. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to the next uh, long range paradigm. There we go, we popped the tier 4. Now we just make sure we have enough saved up for the ace. Which, let's see, how much does the ace cost again? 
The Ace Paragon cost 900,000. They have increased the price. Holy shit, it's actually approaching a million soon. At this rate. Ah, the Ace is getting more and more expensive every time. I saw that it might have been a good idea for us to go for the Buccaneer instead of the Ninja, considering the Buccaneer would actually boost the Ace as well. And the Buccaneer has an infinite. It, yeah, I think the Buccaneer probably would have been a better choice. We have more than enough right now. Oh yeah. But we'll just keep running this for now. Yeah, the ninja paragon is outclassed at this point. For what it does, it has too low range. I oh, know, I see. It's too low range. Too. It's too. Ninja just loses in comparison to pretty much every single other paragon. The only one that can compare to it is the boomerang. Everything else has just things above it. Hell, even the engineer, which I really do not care for the engineer peg on the slightest, at least it has the ability to literally attack from anywhere. Yes, the boomerang is very good, but it does have the same weaknesses as the ninja, but it's stronger. The boomerang is literally just the ninja but stronger when it comes to paragons. Yeah, ninja is the weakest of the paragons right now. Yes, my friend. Uh, just um, just think about it. The, uh, the ninja used to be, as soon as they added into the game, became the go-to best monkey to start off the game with. It was just an OP monkey at all times. Starts off with immediate camera detection, very fast attack speed. And when you uh, actually leveled up all the way, it was amazing. Then it got into BT6 and then it made like, oh. Well, I guess there's all the different tiers. Uh, the upgrades for Ninja, but it never, never got up to being as amazing as it was. Now, you can't, not on any map whatsoever can you compare the dart to the Ninja. The dart just has a huge range better. It projectiles bounce off everything and spread everywhere. And it does way more damage. Okay, time to turn off auto stop. We can do one more round. Let's finish round 119 and then we're ready for the boss. So we'll have to get all the planes at that point. Oh, there you are. Everyone make sure you do not press uh, start round. What else for tier 5? We'll see what we have available to us based off money. Okay, selling all these. Right, so. Actually selling the sentry so they, they, they just get out of the way. Okay. 
Let's get down to three. Just what we needed. Why? Give me a second before we actually start this. I want to get myself some Paragon Power Tower down. There we go. Okay, I have my three aces. One, two, three. See, so I got this. One, two, three. Middle path, bottom path, top path. Okay, we got this. One, two. Okay, and looks like Rainbow got this. So Rainbow, up to you to upgrade yours. Once you have yours down, then we can actually see what else we want to place down. Okay, we got it. Degree 87. Not bad. Let's see... Oh yeah, I can sell that as well. I'm just going to give myself a temple down. Okay, with sense range, we need a lot. Air support. As far as magic goes. Uh, say it would be one about to upgrade this temple and it's going to probably absorb the Ray of Doom if you keep it there. That's if you do not mind losing it. can't fit a primary anymore. What can fit in its range? Thank you. Uh, how much do you... So, do you mind placing down a tier 5 top pass bomb shooter? It's in the range of the sun avatar. Oh, thank you. Thank you, and that should be the first tier, but now they get more stuff. Okay, that still is affordable. Dark Champion is good enough for magic. It costs about 55,000 total there. Okay, I can fit a bomb shooter. Here, that's enough uh, primary. And now I just need military in there. Which military is best for this? There we go. Okay, can someone send me about 200,000? Thank you. Okay, we got the vengeful.
Yeah, at least lost the supers, even though I put down my supers to be absorbed anyway. Okay, I got my thing down, so... Who's getting down? Who needs money to upgrade or place anything down? Why, hello! Yes! Okay, we got ready from player 4 and player 3. I'm ready. Send my over to Sarah in case you want to place anything. If not, Sarah, you can start it whenever you want. I like the fact that legitimately cannot see the ninja. Have to actually click on it to appear. Okay, here we go. Is he for a skull? It did not paralyze any of the paragons because of its placement. That's actually very good. If it keeps on getting broken at the same spot, we're safe. We're safe from paralyzation. That is very good. Uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, the screen is a complete mess, so... Here comes the fourth goal. Completely random thing, I love the fact that the Ray of Doom actually able to deal damage to the Vortex even when it has its fifth or uh, fourth fuel up. It's a very nice thing. Okay, the Vortex is actually progressing a small bit. But as long as it doesn't progress to the point of actually paralyzing us out. I have no idea why the Vengeful Sun God absorbed Elite's Super Monkeys and not mine, even though mine was placed up first. Could be doing the first ones down first. Yours was first? When did you place yours down? Before my avatar. Well, I placed, yeah, I placed those two down before the avatar as well. Okay, either way. Uh, I think this is the sh shortest distance I've seen a vortex get when it comes to the tier 5 elite. Because it kept on getting paralyzed in a spot that is far enough away from all the towers. Okay. And this is also, I have to say, probably the first time I've seen the Ninja Paragon end up with almost equal pops to the Dark Paragon. Okay, so we can so out of the towns we got there. Of course, the Paragons were the ones that got the most amount of pops. Uh, the one that got the most amount of pops total was, of course, going to be the Ace. That was a given from the beginning to the end. 
Uh, second place was the dot, which that was also expected from beginning to end as well. Uh, third place was the ninja. Which... I guess. But between the ninja and the uh, engineer. On that. Uh, let's see. I got activated for activating 205 abilities, which makes sense. I had just a bunch of uh, tech bots running the entire game. Elite got Master Builders after all they placed and sold and placed and sold and placed and sold all the towers. That makes sense as well. Rainbow actually got Monkey Financier for generating the most amount of cash. Impressive. Actually impressive. Uh, and Sam for some reason did not get a title. I feel like they should have. There's definitely something that they did more than the others. But didn't list it. Our rewards for this boss event is 250 monkey money, 50 trophies, which is very good. We need those. A random power that we can ignore. As far as the instant monkey, a 042 spike factory instant monkey is very good. And we got ourselves the elite vortex metal. Just to check. Uh, this will end up with 3.8 million pops, which, not bad. Not bad at all. I think the Ray of Doom... Ray of Doom did good as well. Okay. Well, that's all for that. Okay, now to end of the coin. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And well, till next time, see ya.